Hola, estudiantes. Uh, it was so nice to see so many of your faces at the sing-along today. Thank you for joining us. Um, this book is one of my favorites. It's so funny, and I haven't read a book in English for a while. It came in the mail because the library department asked me to pick my favorite read aloud, and they ordered a book to send so I could read it to you. So thank you, SFUSD. Thank you, libraries for supporting us. And um, this is with permission from Candlewick Press. It's a book called A Visitor for Bear by Bonnie Becker, illustrated by Katie McDonald Denton. Here we go. No one had ever come to Bear's house. It had always been that way, and Bear was quite sure he didn't like visitors. He even had a sign. No visitors allowed. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his front door. Who could it be? When he opened his door, there was a mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. No visitors allowed, Bear said, pointing to the sign. Go away. He closed the door and went back to the business of making his breakfast. He set out one cup and one spoon. But when he opened the cupboard to get one bowl, small and gray and bright-eyed. I told you to leave, cried the bear. Perhaps we could just have a spot of tea, said the mouse. Out, commanded bear. Oh, sorry, said the mouse. I'll be going now. Bear showed him to the door and shut it firmly. Then he went back to the business of making his breakfast. But when he opened the bread drawer for one slice of bread, <gasps> there was the mouse, small and gray and bright eyed. Unbelievable, rumbled Bear. Away with you, vamos. I do like a bit of cheese, said the mouse. Bear pointed a rigid claw toward the door. Yes, then, here I go, said the mouse. Farewell, and the mouse whisked out the door. This time, Bear shut the door very firmly and locked it tight. Look at all those locks. He locked the windows, too, for good measure. Then once again, he went back to the business of making his breakfast. But when he opened the fridge to get one egg, oh, there was the mouse. Can you see the eggs? Small and gray and bright eyed, of course. Be gone, roared Bear. A crackling fire ventured the mouse. This is impossible, intolerable, insufferable, cried Bear, shaking with anger and disbelief. Terribly sorry, murmured the mouse. Now you see me, now you don't. I'm gone. And the mouse looked very sorry indeed while he waited for Bear to unbolt the door and let him out again. Mouse. He feels sad. 
This time, before he went back to the business of making his breakfast, Bear shut the door very, very firmly, locked it, boarded the windows shut, stopped up the chimney, and plugged the drain in the bathtub. Carefully, Bear set about the business of making his breakfast. He opened the cupboard. No mouse. Ah. He opened the bread drawer. Nothing. Phew. He opened the fridge. Mouse free. Yes, indeed. He lifted the lid to the tea kettle. What do you think? <gasps> there was the mouse. Small and gray and well, you know the rest. Bear fell to the floor and wept. I give up, he blubbered. You win. I am undone. <laughs> so sorry, said the mouse. But perhaps if I could just have a bit of cheese and a cup of tea, and do you think we could unstop the chimney and have a nice fire? Bear blew his nose with a loud honk. <laughs> But then you must go, he sniffled. No visitors allowed. You have my word, said the mouse. Bear unshuttered and unboarded the windows, unlocked the door, unstoppered the chimney, and unplugged the drain. He brought out two plates of cheese and two teacups, and he made a crackling fire in the fireplace for two sets of toes. The mouse warmed his feet and nibbled and sipped, and Bear did too. He sat for a long while. The clock in Bear's house ticked loudly. Tick, 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 tick. Look at how small the little mouse's teacup is. Bear cleared his throat. <clears throat> Mouse Mo looked most attentive. No one had ever been most attentive to Bear. The fire is nice, Bear announced. Lovely, said the mouse. No one had ever said Bear's fires were lovely. I can do a headstand, said Bear. Very impressive, exclaimed the mouse. Bear told a joke. The mouse laughed heartily. <laughs> no one had ever laughed at Bear's jokes before. Bear began to think of another joke. The mouse sat down his teacup. Bear quickly lifted the teapot. There's plenty more, he said. So sorry, said the mouse. Most kind, but I must be on my way. Really, you needn't go, said Bear. I'm off, said the mouse, springing up from his chair. Wait, cried Bear, but the mouse stepped out the door. Toodaloo, said the mouse. Don't go, wailed Bear, throwing his body across the path. But I gave you my word, said the mouse, pointing at the no visitors sign. The no visitors allowed. Oh, that, cried Bear, pulling down the sign and tearing it up. That's for salesmen, not for friends. Not for friends, asked the mouth. Mouse small, gray and bright eyed. Bear nodded. The mouse's eyes grow, glowed brighter. Bear smiled. They made friends. Do you like one lump or two? said Bear most politely. I like two, said the mouse, and Bear agreed. The end. That is a visitor for Bear.
I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening. Good night.